Is it possible to exercise faith in him, follow him, serve him, but not believe him? I am acquainted with church members who accept as true the doctrine and principles contained in the scriptures and proclaimed from this pulpit. And yet they have a hard time believing those gospel truths apply specifically in their lives and to their circumstances. They seem to have faith in the Savior, but they do not believe His promised blessings are available to them or can operate in their lives. I also encounter brothers and sisters who fulfill their church callings dutifully, but for whom the restored gospel has not yet become a living and transforming reality in their lives. We come to know the Lord as we not only believe in Him, but also believe Him and His assurances. In the New Testament, a father asked the Savior to heal his child. Jesus answered, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. I have reflected many times on this father's request, help thou mine unbelief. I wonder if the intent of the man's pleading was not primarily to help him believe in Jesus as our Redeemer and in His healing power. He already may have acknowledged Christ as the Son of God. But perhaps he needed help to believe the Master's healing power indeed could be so individual and so personalized as to bless his own beloved Son. He may have believed in Christ generally, but not believed Christ specifically and personally. We often testify of what we know to be true, but perhaps the more relevant question for each of us is whether we believe what we know. Sacred ordinances performed by proper priesthood authority are essential to believing the Savior, coming to know Him, and ultimately believing what we know. And the Melchizedek priesthood administereth the gospel and holdeth the key of the mysteries of the kingdom, even the key of the knowledge of God. Therefore, in the ordinances thereof, the power of godliness is manifest. My beloved brothers and sisters, we believe and come to know the Lord as the key of the knowledge of God, administered through the Melchizedek priesthood, unlocks the door, and makes it possible for each of us to receive the power of godliness in our lives. We believe and come to know the Savior as we follow Him by receiving and faithfully honoring holy ordinances and increasingly have His image in our countenances. We believe and come to know Christ as we experience personally the transforming, healing, strengthening, and sanctifying power of His Atonement. We believe and come to know the Master as the power of His Word takes root in us, is written in our minds and hearts, and we give away all our sins to know Him. Believing Him is trusting that His bounteous blessings are available and applicable in our individual lives and families. Believing Him with our whole soul comes as we press forward along the covenant pathway, surrender our will to His, and submit to His priorities and timing for us. Believing Him, accepting as true His power and promises, invites perspective, peace, and joy into our lives. On a future day, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is the Christ. On that blessed day, we will know that He knows each of us by name. And I witness and promise we can not only know about the Lord, but also come to know Him as we exercise faith in, follow, serve, and believe Him.